What's good, YouTube? It's your favorite old head, old head Uncle Twin, Jerry's Twin. We back with another video. Hey, happy new year to everybody, man. Happy, hey, if you made it to 2020, drop a like on the video right now. Drop a like on the video. Hey, if this is your first time finding the channel, man, hit your boy sub, man. Go on, sub up. Turn them noties on. Turn that thumbs up blue if you true. Hey, you already know. If you know the game, if you got them noties on, spam up them fire emojis and the muscle emojis in the comment section right now. But hey, I got another build video for y'all boys to check out, man. This is actually a, a rare build that you don't see that often, you know, in the game, in the park. But it's the paint defender. But I'm actually making a paint defender. But I actually got this build an unorthodox way. So I'm going to show y'all how to make this special paint defender. It might be the best paint defender. It might be the best shooting paint defender build that you can make so yeah we feel we finna get right into it man but hey shout out to my lawyers again all my lawyers man if you verde gang y'all already know big greens over here spend with them verdes in the comment section but yeah let's get into the build now first you know first thing we choose is your pie charts or your skill breakdown now you think paint defender or shooting paint defender you probably think the chart that has the most red or you might think the red and the green or you know something like that but i actually got this bill and how you want to make it you want to go to the blue and the green pie chart blue and green pie chart that's finishing and shooting now for your physical profile i think the best one is the one that's split evenly in the third so you know the balanced one because i feel like that's the one that gives you the most gives you the most strength as well as you know you can still have decent speed and the acceleration and all of that so you want to go to the one that's all the way at the bottom that's the balance pie chart all right now as far as your attributes see you start off with 419 you know attribute points which that's why we make them a center because you get more attribute points with making them a center which relates to more badges so what you want to do you want to take your shot close all the way up to 80 you want to take your driving layup all the way up to 68, your driving dunk all the way up to 65, your standing dunk, we're going to take that all the way up to 92, and then on your post hook, we're going to take it to a 59, 59 on the post hook. Shooting uh, mid-range, you're taking it all the way up to 74, three-point shot all the way up to 70. Free throw, we're going to make that a 54. No, 58. 58 on the free throw and post fade, we're going to take it all the way up to a 90. So you see what the badges are looking like thus far. So, I mean, of course, you could get this build where it has like, I think, 20 shooting badges. But we're making it so it has 17. So that's the same amount of badges, the same amount of shooting badges as on my shooting glass lock video. So 17 shooting, 15 finishing now on the defense, interior defense, we're taking that all the way up. The perimeter defense, we're going to take it to a 46. Lateral quickness, 49. Still all the way up, 55. Block all the way up, 76. Offensive rebounding, 69. Defensive rebounding, 76. Now this is going to give you the max badges you can get on defense on this build with this pie chart, which is 12. So 12 defensive badges. You know, just one play making, 17 shooting, and 15 finishing badges. So you saw what pie chart we chose. We chose the blue and the green pie chart, which is finishing and shooting. And we have 12 defensive badges. Hey, stop the jokes. Hey, so of course, choosing your, choosing your body shape, I always go with built. Like I said, I mean, of course, you know, this is really this is really just all cosmetic, but I feel like built gets you like the most solid build. Now, looking at the height on this build, now I looked at it at seven foot, uh, seven one, seven two, even down to like six ten. But the best, the best height on this build is six eleven. Now, as you can see, your driving dunk is still a seventy. And that's a major key in this build. And I told y'all why before, because when you have a 70 driving dunk, or you can get it to a 70, you know, once you hit 95 or above 99, that's going to allow you to get 
you know, the park dunks, the big man contact dunks. So you want that. Now for this bill, so we said 611 on the height. Now as far as the weight, I took the weight all the way up because you see what it does to your strength and your interior defense. It's giving you the the, the buff, the bonus in your interior defense as well as your strength. Okay, so in this bill, it's going to be labeled, well, you'll see what it's going to be labeled in a minute. It's going to be labeled a paint defender. So, you're primarily going to be, you know, working down low, playing defense, you know, on defense. But, of course, with the shooting attributes, you see what shooting attributes you got. That's going to allow you to space the floor. And with you being a paint defender, a lot of people are not going to think you can shoot anyway. Now, as far as the wingspan, like I said, the primary role of this job is going to be defense. So, we're going to go max wingspan on this build. We're going to max it all the way out to have the longest wingspan that we could get. Now, it's going to take you your three-point shooting down. You see, if you have it low, you can get into like almost the mid-70s all the way up. It's going to get you right at 70 or I think it is 69. So, that means all you have to do is get to 96 to have your three ball in the 70s. And you're still going to have... At uh, 96, the driving dunk, you better get the driving dunks at 70 to get your park dunks and your big man contact dunks, all of that. Still a go. And you see it's going to give you the options of two takeovers, the rim takeover and the sharp or the spot up takeover. In my opinion, the rim takeover is kind of broken this year, so going with the sharp takeover, you know that's going to give you plus 10 to your shooting with the sharp takeover. So if you think about that, you max this bill at a 99, that's going to get you to a, what is it, a 74 three-pointer. And then if you get takeover with the spot-up takeover, it's going to have you an 84 three-pointer on a paint defender. So you see what's going to say, we have, we have built a paint defender. So this is a paint defender and maxed out in takeover, you can have an 84 three-pointer on this bill defense in the like that's that's tough defense in the 90s interior defense see with max wingspan max weight hey this is this is a sleeper bill now i know y'all always see where well, everybody sees a lot of glass cleaning locks but you really don't see that many paint defenders so this is a way you can make a paint defender where people probably gonna sleep on you seeing a paint defender they're gonna be like oh yeah he's not a glass lock or whatever he's not you see no shooting in this bill he not gonna be able to shoot. And now look at the badge breakdown. 15 finishing. You know, we got one playmaking. So, you know, you can put that on quick first step. You know, you can put it on uh, break starter, depending on what, what game mode you're playing. Now, as far as your finishing badges, as you can see, you get Hall of Fame finishing badges on this bill. So, you know, you can change this up, put it how you want it, but contact finisher, Hall of Fame, you could put your pick and roller on Hall of Fame, depending depending on your play, your play style. You know what I'm saying? If you want to go through, you know, slithery finisher, fancy footwork, you can put all those. You can put those on Hall of Fame. You can put your live city finisher on Hall of Fame. Your Showtime, like I said, just depending on how you play. But if y'all know about finishers and uh, interior forces, interior finishers, y'all know how OP they can be with, you know. A lot of the moves and animations they get with the hop steps and you know stuff like that and that has a lot to do with what badges you choosing on your finishing so just think about a paint defender that can drive like an interior force or interior finisher and be able to shoot the ball now we got hall of fame shooting badges also so quick draw on gold that's probably how you need you can put on hall of fame range extender major key put that on hall of fame now these you can kind of space out how you want. Like this is just how I did these. So I put green machine on silver, catch and shoot silver, pick and popper on silver, hot zone hunter, hall of fame. So this was the bad setup, you know, I chose. I feel like it's pretty valid. Y'all let me know if y'all would have done something different in the comment section. And then last but not least, you got your defense. 12 defensive badges. So we could put four of them on gold. So I'm gonna choose the ones I think is, you know, the most important, you know, based on my play style. So, gold brick wall, gold intimidator, gold rim protector. And then we're going to do, um, what did I put this last one? Oh, yeah, rebound chaser. Gold rebound chaser. So, 
Yo, the bed set up, the bill, a paint defender, Hall of Fame finishing, Hall of Fame shooting, your gold defensive, all your main defensive badges. You know, taking one more look at this to show y'all how I did them. Fancy footwork, you know, contact finisher, all of that. You're shooting, quick draw goal, range extender, hot zone hunter, playmaking, quick first step. Hey, it's a GG. But y'all already know who it is, man. Your favorite old head, old head Uncle Twin, Jerry's Trend. Hey, drop a like on the video. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this bill. Stop the jokes. Drop a like. Let's get it.